In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use pivot tables to analyze your benefit enrollment information. Specifically, we're going to go over two different ways that you can use pivot tables. One way is to look at a pivot table in terms of how to do a monthly billing statement. And then the second thing that we're going to look at is how you can analyze your benefit information using pivot tables during annual enrollment period. And what are some of the things that you want to look at in terms of benefit trends? All right, the first thing we're gonna look at here is we have a roster of our dental billing statement. So this is a report that you can run either out of your HRIS system or maybe your payroll system. And it's a roster of all of your employees who are enrolled in the dental plan, which type of dental plan they're enrolled in, which, um, which tier of coverage, meaning employee plus spouse, or employee only, family level of coverage, and then what the cost is. So the spreadsheet may have a lot of data on it. But if you have, if you're set up with your carrier to do a self billing statement, it might look something like this. And this is if you, um, agree with your vendor that they don't send you a monthly premium, but that you provide that to them after you run payroll, you provide them the list of your enrollments and your accounts and your premium dollars. So this is a self bill enrollment type template. So how can we use a pivot table to easily fill in this template from our billing roster? All right, so let's go back to our roster. We're going to insert pivot table, click OK. And this inserts the tab with your pivot table. And let's go ahead and look at the plan, the tier, and the cost. All right, so this looks good. The other field of information that we know we need to put into our template is a, is a count, a, a unit count. So to do that, what we wanna do is take the tier and drag it down under values and it's going to automatically put count. Uh, if it weren't that and you wanted to change it, if it did the sum for some reason, you would just click value field settings and change it to count and click OK. So let's move this up one because we want to put that column ahead of the sum of the total cost. So we just drag it up and move it. Let's highlight this column and make it a dollar so it looks easier to read and now this very much this pivot table now looks very much like our self billing statement so now all we have to do is copy and we hit control c to copy go back to our statement here and paste in the information so now with a few clicks of a button you have automatically analyzed your your billing statement for your data plan or for, for your dental plan and pasted that into your monthly billing template so that's an easy way that you can use a pivot table to create your monthly billing statement and it gives you a good snapshot of some data around your dental benefit enrollment all right, now let's take a look at uh, general um, information. Let's say this is just a sample report that has some uh, benefit premium information, ben benefit enrollment information for your group, and it includes employees who have medical, dental, and vision coverage, what tier of coverage they have, what the costs are, and some of the dependent information for those benefits. So let's look at, let's insert a pivot table and click OK. And let's first take a look at by plan, coverage, and the employee cost, the employer cost, and the total premium. OK. And then what I like to do is highlight those and make those dollar signs so they're easier to read. So now you can look and see the total costs of um, by plan and by tier of coverage. Now let's say you want to also look at counts the count of of all of these we're going to go up here to coverage and bring that down over here and it's going to give us a count how many people are actually enrolled in the employee plus child level of coverage for the dental plan that's what that's showing us now let's say we want to see a percentage of that right like what percent of the dental people who are enrolled in dental are enrolled in single level of coverage versus family level of coverage. The way you can do that is take, go up here to coverage again, drag it down again so you create another column. It creates a duplicate column, but then what you can do is come over here and right click and then say show value as. And we wanna look at 
the percent of the parent total. And what that's going to do is we're going to say base that on the plan. And we're going to say, OK. So what that means is for the dental plan, what percentage of enrollment are employees only? And it's 40 percent. So you can see there's different ways that you can slice and dice and look at this information. This comes in very helpful during annual enrollment periods where you want to get a sense of your actual uh, demographics of your benefit enrollment. If you have any other questions how to use pivot tables to look at your and analyze your benefit data, be sure to leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to help. Visit my website, SharonSmithHR.com, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.